What is the fastest shark in the sea? Could it be the great white? The whale shark? How about a hammerhead? It's actually none of these sharks. There's only one shark out there who can swim the fastest, and that title goes to the short fin mako shark. Mako sharks are a type of mackerel shark, like great whites. There are two living species, the short fin mako and the long fin mako. Although they do have prehistoric relatives, like most sharks we've covered, mako sharks can grow up to 14 feet long and eat really whatever they can catch, even the fastest fish in the sea, like tuna. Because the short fin mako can reach speeds of 35 miles per hour. After it catches its prey, it sinks its jagged long teeth in for a meal. What do you say? Let's look at some teeth. This first batch of colorful teeth is from, you guessed it, Shark Tooth Hill. You can see the four on the top are upper mako teeth while the ones on the bottom are lower. Just like the great white, the upper and lower teeth look way different. The shark tooth hill orange color really comes out on those two bottom teeth. This batch of California shark teeth belong to Isurus desauri, or the short fin mako's extinct ancestor. These two upper desauris are also from the United States. They're much darker than the shark tooth hill teeth and come from the Pungo River Formation in Lee Creek, North Carolina. This little desauri tooth comes all the way from France. It's much smaller and not as narrow as the other upper teeth, but it's still an upper. It was probably placed in a different position in the mouth. Here we have another tooth from France. It's still a mako, but a different species. This is Isurus retroflexus, or the ancestor of the modern day long fin mako. Here's another example of Isurus retroflexus. This tooth also comes from the Pungo River Formation in North Carolina. What do you notice about the different shaping between the long fin mako and the short fin mako teeth? Would you be able to identify which is which? Finally, we have a comparison between the desauri, the small one on the left, and fossilized teeth of the modern species of a short fin mako shark, Isurus oxyrhynchus. What differences and similarities do you see between these two species? They definitely look related to me. Now, it's worth noting that even though the tooth on the right and the middle are from the modern species of mako, they are not modern teeth, they are still fossils. This just shows how far back in the fossil record this mako shark goes, as these oxyrhynchus teeth are from the late Miocene period, in between 15 and 2.6 million years old. Thanks for tuning in this week to take a look at some cool mako shark fossils. See you next week, as always, on Fossil Friday.